Delicious, delicious Vita news. Aw, oh, crap, we're on again, aren't we? <coughs> Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m., and once again, I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Holy moly, guys, we got a lot of news just coming out everywhere for our little handheld. It's getting pretty crazy out there, so let's start off with today's video. What do you say? Yeah! Finally, at long last, Strictly Limited is releasing Sayonara Umihari Kasawa, a game title that I am most likely not saying correctly, but you've pretty much come to expect that from this channel. This is a game that they actually had announced way back, I'm gonna say over a year ago, and then things kinda just fell silent with the release. Now, however, it seems that they are finally ready, which kinda makes sense because this is the anniversary of when the original came out on the Super Nintendo, or technically the Super Famicom since it was Japan only. And more on that in a sec. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, this sounds cool and all, but when does this go up? Well, here's all the info you need to know. Strictly Limited Games has announced that the physical edition of the cult action platformer Sayonara Umihari Kasawa for the PlayStation Vita will be available for pre-order this weekend. Yes, you guys heard me right, this weekend. Oh, it's almost like Christmas came early this year. Oh wait, it's already almost Christmas, never mind. Now, something that they're doing that's a bit different than usual is that they're gonna be having the collector's edition go up this weekend, and then the standard edition go up next weekend. Again, I think it's to celebrate the anniversary of the original's release. At least that's my hunch anyway. Uh, you're really going against the grain here, aren't you, Strictly Limited? I see what you're up to. You can't fool me, baby. The cult action platformer from Japan offers unique gameplay and challenging platforming. You play as Umihare Kasawa and swing through plenty of handcrafted levels using your rubber fishing line and a fishing hook. You actually get to play a lot more characters too, not just her. Besides the completely reworked Sayonara Umihare Kasawa Plus Plus in a 2.5D for the PlayStation Vita, the game includes also the original 2D game Umihara Kasawa that was released back in 1994 on the Super Famicom in Japan. Yeah, you guys heard me right. It comes right on the cart, ready to play from the beginning. How cool is that? It's like getting two games in one. Actually, it is getting two games in one. Huh. So as far as the collector's edition goes, they will be limited to 999 copies. The ultimate version of Umihari Kasawa, which includes the original 2D console game from 1994, includes a soundtrack CD, art book, sticker, poster, and retro game cartridge. Non-functional, of course, but pretty cool that they added it. And in the standard edition, which will be available a week later, is limited to 1994 copies. Ah, 19 1994, the year of its release. I see what you're doing there. Commemorating the release of Umihari Kasawa on the Super Famicom in Japan. And of course, the ultimate version of this game also includes the original 2D console game, which came out back in 1994. End quote. Now at this point, if you've been with my channel for a while, you might be looking at this gameplay and thinking, wait a minute, I've seen this before on your channel. And yes, you would be right. I actually featured it as background gameplay back when I was telling you guys that I was going to jury duty. And if you're new to my channel, then you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. And they're probably pointing and laughing at me. Yeah, I get that a lot. But yes, I actually do own a copy of the import version of this game. It's a very import friendly title. There's very, very little in the way of Japanese in the game other than a few menus and a very brief tutorial at the beginning. But nonetheless, I'm still happy that we're going to be getting an official English release physical after all this time. Now, for those of you who maybe might not be interested in this physical release, and but you'd be interested in the game nonetheless, it is available for download right now on the PlayStation Store, if you want to go down that route. Supposedly, this Plus Plus version from Strictly Limited is going to have additional content. At least that's what was announced at the beginning, but I haven't heard anything as of late regarding that. In fact, even the description didn't really go into what was new in this title, if anything at all. It could just come down to being an official physical English release. Just keep that in mind. Oh, real quickly, before you go, I just thought I'd give you a really quick fun fact here. Some of the characters in this game actually made an appearance in the recently released fighting game called Blade Strangers, which I believe was available for the PlayStation 4 and Switch. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyways, guys, what do you think about this? There's a lot to love with this game, that's for sure. And I would love to hear your comments down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time.